This is Brian Medor from East Carolina University. You are listening to the Sports Objective, the official, unofficial podcast of the Pirates. Welcome into the sports objective. We would wanted to obviously when you're talking football, you want to talk about the football intro. And right now, Bubba Rosenbaum, how are you, sir? Doing well, Dave. Uh, I think we talked what half an hour ago. Uh, yeah, but uh, just checking on you, make sure you're still okay. And with us right now, a very special guy, Bubba, that's uh, been on our show numerous times over the last few years, and he has a big part in uh, our intro video for the Pirates, right? Yeah, it's become a given that we're going to have this guy on sometime during the month of August leading into the East Carolina football season. And we'd like to welcome back East Carolina alum from Port City Films, Curtis Thiemann. Curtis, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good, guys. Thanks for having me back on. You're always so generous with your time and so good to us. I know this is a busy time of year, Curtis, but uh, we want to have you on because uh, I know Bubba is, uh, if he could, he would rent a condo at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. If they had it somewhere like me, uh, where we could have that during football season yeah. beyond, but uh, being that close to the Pirates, I know you feel that strongly and passionate about the Pirates, and you're taking your expertise over the last few years. And it's been what is this the third or fourth year? The um, numbers are, I think, 2018. So, yeah, right. this is technically the fourth season that we'll have uh, an entrance uh, plan. So, I know this uh, big deal for it's become a tradition for us to have you on and to talk about the intro video. I know that uh, you were telling us off off air and uh, in the green room, if you will, about uh, this year. So some people, you're going to see some, I guess, new things, some old things, if you will, new player stuff. And uh, can you talk a little bit about the video and maybe a sneak peek without giving stuff away? (laughs) Sure, sure. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, the goal going forward is to, to do, I think, or at least in the immediate future, is to, to do two shoots per year. So to do new player stuff and then uh, some form of new scene or some form of new pirate shoot. Uh, that way we've got um, – we can keep it fresh. But there's also certain parts that we're going to try to use every year. You know, you know we, we, we do love the, the poem and the – the state of mind on fire is, I mean, it's hard to cut that, you know? So um, you'll probably see that again, as long as I'm doing it. Um, that's going to, that'll probably be a staple. It's, it's going to be, I've tried a couple of times to, to see if there's something we could, you know, we could put it on a shelf for a year, but when you, when you get into it, it's just impossible to, to I love that visual so much. So um, yeah. So, I mean, we're going to try to bring something new every year. We're going to try to, Obviously, we kind of have to shoot new player stuff every year if we want to include the players. Um, and because, uh, you know, there's always new guys, uh, you know, stepping up and doing things. Uh, so uh, that's where we're at right now is every year I do it. I want I want there always to be something new to it. I don't ever want to just recycle old stuff. Uh, you, you know, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this. Um, probably not a super long time, probably just a few more years. And then uh I just want to always include something that I'd want to see as a fan. So, Absolutely. You, t- you talk about the uh, state of mind on fire. Uh, that's definitely one of my favorite parts. Uh, I know uh, when that debuted, uh, I guess back in 2018, the final year of the Scotty Montgomery era, uh, that's uh, when that uh, was first unveiled. But in, in, in the first year of Coach Houston's tenure, um, you kind of took away some of the music. Uh, so without giving things away, uh, can you tell us, um, will this year, you know, including, um, you know, it'd be more like 2018 or more like 2019. Um, hmm. So I, I will say there'll, there'll be things that people are used to seeing that aren't going to be in there. Um, you, you know, we've got kind of a new uh, start to it. So in the past, we've seen the pirate getting ready and we cut that with the players. Uh, that's not going to be in this, in this year's, I'm not saying it's never going to come back, but uh, we've got a new, we've got a new scene we shot. And if, if you follow us on social media, then you've probably seen, we, we were shooting a blacksmith shop. 
Um, we, we filmed that scene a couple weeks ago uh, here in Wilmington. And, uh, you know, that's going to be kind of our lead in in place of the pirate getting ready. Um, I'm trying to, to talk, make sure I'm not giving away too much stuff so, so that people are still kind of surprised when they see stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was fun to shoot a blacksmith shop and, and to see them doing some stuff. It's just a, it was a nice setting. Um, and uh, that's going to be kind of our, our lead in for our main entrance video that you'll see in Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. Very excited about that because that's uh, when you're sitting, I'm in section two, Curtis got my season tickets and want everybody a shameless plug. 1-800-DOLL-ECU, ecupirates.com. Get your season tickets, huge year. Uh, but being in section two and near about the 10 yard line, if you will, or near uh, certainly the bone yard where the fans, uh, the students are, and of course their fans, but uh, being that close to the video, um, need to get a new scoreboard. That's a whole other show, as they say. But when you see that video, oh my goodness, the intro video is fantastic. And uh, I tell you what, this time of year, my curiosity, I'm sitting near my parents' cats here on their, <laughs> um, their front porch, <laughs> but they always talk about curiosity killed the cat. Well, the curiosity is killing me. I'm dying to know about that entrance video. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to see it. Uh, come, I guess, September 11th, right? Are you going to have something that's right in Charlotte, um, but that'll be completely different, or is that going to be the same? So I've been told that we can do a shorter version in Charlotte. So that's what we're working on right now. And I've got a draft of it that I'm not going to show you guys. <laughs> but That's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, yet uh, Yesterday, I finished kind of a, a first draft of what would play in Charlotte, assuming that it does play in Charlotte. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, we're going to have a, a normal length version for Dowdy Ficklin. Uh, the version for Charlotte, uh, it being only one minute, I had to kind of move some th things around um, opposed to what the story I had in mind for Greenville. But it's funny because I, I had no idea we would get anything for Charlotte. I just assumed neutral site. They wouldn't do an entrance. I don't, and, uh, you know, I was talking with uh, Steve the Pirate, um, and he mentioned that we did the entrance for when we played South Carolina and Charlotte. And I was like, well, I wonder if we're going to be doing that again, because I need to know that. So I made some phone calls and they're like, yeah, we, we might, we might do that. <laughs> so uh, I started scrambling last week to kind of put this in place. Um, uh, so, yeah. So right now it seems like there's going to be a version in Charlotte that will not be the same thing you see in Dot Dottie Ficklin. So the people who go to the Charlotte game, that is a one-time play. It's the only time that'll play if, if it gets played. Um, and uh, it'll be the only time that's seen, uh, but those pieces will be used in the Greenville version. It's just the Greenville version is longer. So we have more time to put more of the story in place. Curtis, you talk about some of the prominent elements of the video, um, one of the ones that I know I always loved uh, is, you know, the, the ram's head or ram's skull, uh, all, you know, where it says, uh, ye be warned. Um, mm -hmm. So I know last year's video, it's a shame that 50,000 pirates couldn't see it. Uh, and yeah. maybe, they, maybe, maybe they did, uh, you know, via social media and so forth on YouTube. But uh, there in Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, uh, it was awesome um, what you incorporated with regards to a wolf head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We brought in the wolf head and, and, you know, that was a fun, that was a fun piece. Uh, that was part of the, you know, trying to make it a little different each year. Last year, we didn't have the resources to do what we wanted to do, obviously with it being COVID and uh, not being able to be in the stadium for the most part. So, um, you know, we kind of worked with what we could to make it a little different. We had that piece. Uh, we wanted to include that. So um yeah, I mean, the, the Tar Heel skull was, yeah, I mean, the first time, first meeting I had, uh, I mentioned bringing this Tar Heel skull in there. And again, I use that as that's the one condition I had was uh, if I make this video ever, uh, there would have to be a Tar Heel skull in it. And, uh, you know, that's just, <laughs> that's just how I feel. <laughs> So, uh, hey, that's how I feel too. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be that. That is a shot that is unlikely to be cut as well. So. That sounds good. Hey, hey, I wanted to ask you. Uh, obviously, Curtis, with 
uh, the first game, uh, I know that you have like a uh, one video, but is there anything, have you heard anything with being the 20th anniversary of nine 11? Is that something that we, a video that we not to put more work on your plate, but obviously you got like a lot going on for the first game, but with the second game, first home game being the 20th anniversary of nine 11, is that something you could do? Or is that just something maybe separate that the university could do to honor uh, those with nine 11? Well, I, I do think, I think there's some plans in place uh, to, to do that. I haven't, made um i haven't made it a part of of the video or i haven't you know those are just two worlds that you have to kind of separate so um from what i understand there, there's plans to to honor 9 11 and, and you know the the victims of that day and there's some some plans to do that in the stadium but i'm not really in those conversations um I've, I've just heard I've heard some people talk about some things that that, that are going to be happening on the day. But, um, yeah, when it comes to the the entrance, it's something I've got to make for the whole season. And it's something that, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it's hard to it's hard to focus on making, you know, different versions. So it, I, I kind of let the, the people that decide the game day atmosphere stuff do their thing. Uh, I just make a two minute video and submit it to them the week of and say, how's that look? <laughs> Another video you've produced in recent years on um, with Port City Films is, of course, on um, the No Quarter video. Um, that has changed um, from an animated um, to one that you shot on a ship. I believe it was out in Manio. Um, yep. Very cool with Steve the Pirate, who you just referenced, um, Steve Wetzel. So if you would, um, are there any changes there, or are we going to keep that um, very similar to what it's been in the recent past? Um, there are going to be some changes. I don't know if I'll get them in, uh, for the opening game, but just some minor tweaks, just some things. When we made that bit, that video, um, we, we've gotten better and, and software has, has advanced a little bit, even in the like, you know, a couple years since we made that. So, so there's some compositing things. When I watch that video, there's some things I want to make better uh that we haven't had a chance to to tackle so there's going to be some updates to it um i i don't know when that'll happen but it'll happen in the next year that De definitely by next season um but uh as of now it, it's the same video um uh, as it was last year and the year before something else um Great uh, question here. Some remarks from Johnny Gardner on Facebook. He says, we have one of the most unique mascots and themes in college sports, in his opinion. That lends itself to always being recognized as one of the top college football entrances. Um, as an alum, what does the opportunity to do this mean to you? So, I mean, that kind of goes back to the original motivation for the first video. Um, you know, I, I was in at ECU – in the early 2000s, I graduated in 05. So that was when we had the PD. Uh, it was right when we got the skull and crossbones. And um, I think that happened in, what, 05, 06. Um, but I've always felt that our marketing needed to um, be a little uh, just a little cooler, a little bit darker. A little, like, don't be afraid of going at um, an edgier style. Um you know, so, so many people fought the skull and crossbones for a long time. There were some things about the first video uh, that people didn't like um, before before I made it, like the, the concept, the, the pitch. Uh, the pitch was for exactly the video I delivered, but there were some people that, that just thought it was dark and thought it was too scary. And, you know, it's hard for me to, to understand that completely because, you know, I grew up with movies like Ghostbusters and Goonies and Gremlins and, you know, even as a little kid, like I understood that, you know, it was make believe, but it was still fun. Uh, you go back and watch those movies as an adult and they're, they're pretty dark. There's some dark themes. There's some dark things. Um, so I think with a pirate mascot, you know, with what it is, I, I still think we haven't gone far enough. I still think that, um, that from a marketing standpoint, we could do things that, that aren't, you know, you know, I don't think we're pushing the envelope enough. I don't think, I think if you, if you, if, you know, if you put your en energy into really embracing the pirate theme, then I think more people will take notice. I think you'll sell more merchandise. I think you'll get more recruits. I think you'll, 
I don't know. I think it's a win-win. I, I, I don't get it. But that's why the first entrance video, I really approached it with, you know, this might be the only video I ever get to make because I had, thanks to Brian Medor and, you know, you know a couple others, I mean, I had complete control over it. So, uh, you, you know, and, and hindsight being 2020, if I had to go back, I'd probably leave a few things off the plate because I kind of put too much into it. <laughs> you know, we, we put, we put a lot of great pieces and a lot of great visuals with the state of mind on fire and the pirate ship and all the things that we did, but I was approaching it. Like this might be the only chance I get to be a p- part of this. I don't want to leave anything on a table, but then it's like, well, what do you do year two? You know, it's like, <laughs> so um, I absolutely agree that the, the pirate mascot is, is the coolest mascot in college sports. You know, I grew up a Ohio State fan. I grew up on the Ohio Michigan border, and uh, it's a Buckeye. You know, I mean, I love Ohio State. It's still my number two team, but it's it's a Buckeye. You know, you look at the Crimson Tide. You know, you look at Clemson Tigers. How many mascots in this you know country have tigers for their mascot? I think there's three in the SEC. There's like eight across the country. Um, we're, we're the pirates. And I really think that when people think of ECU, I'd love them to think of like, Oh, that's so cool what they're doing. You know, Oregon ducks were knocking it out of the park 10 years ago and they were, they're ducks. You know, it's like, why aren't we, why don't we have the coolest marketing, the coolest uniforms, the coolest merchandise in college football? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I love our stuff and I think it's, it's worlds better than it was. Um, but Sorry, I'm I'm ran- I'm just rambling now, but um, yeah, hopefully you can feel the passion. I know that's a great thing, especially uh, Curtis. When you think about, I mean, Disney's made a living off of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, all that you know, mm-hmm. that's part of uh, the time period you're talking about when you were there at ECU, right around there with, I mean, Johnny Depp and everything. I mean, that whole Pirates of the Caribbean thing is so cool. And then when you have, I've always loved the ride at, uh, in Disney. But uh, when you have a situation like us and you think about who we are as pirates being from Eastern North Carolina, you think about the geography, you think about like pirates having chips on their shoulders. They're not like everyday ordinary people. So you don't want your merchandise to be ordinary, right? Right. Uh, So I had a question for you as far as uh, outside the video that I want to ask you. We ask you each time you're on. How are things as far as the film industry? Obviously, I'm a film nerd and I love uh, filmmakers and obviously the film commission. I'm just wondering how film incentives, has anything improved there uh, since we last talked to you? Oh, for sure. I think um, so. We're in August right now and I I believe we just broke the record for um, most income for the state, if not ever in the last decade. So um, yeah, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to some friends uh, on a set and, and they were mentioning that there were seven things just in Wilmington that were either in production or in, in pre-production that had offices open. So, um, yeah, we're rocking and rolling here. Uh, I don't know throughout the state, but I can tell you Wilmington is at capacity pretty much, uh, you, you know, through the end of the year. So it's great. I mean, when we were doing this shoot, the reason we had to shoot both um, the blacksmith scene and on campus last Sunday night, we had to shoot Sunday night because we just can't put a crew together uh, at the level that I want to, I want to, you know, put together uh, during the week because everybody's on Netflix shows or Fox shows or what, whatever. So um, yeah, it's, it's going great. And uh, that spilled over a little bit, um, you know, in, in our world, as far as Port City Films goes. Uh, we're, we're doing some work with uh, some Hallmark shows here in town, doing a little bit of post-related stuff. And, uh, you, know, you know, we get the occasional call for other things. But, um, you know, we're not, we're not as much in the feature or TV world on a regular basis. Um, we, we're, we're more in that commercial corporate space. But, um, you know, it's nice to dabble. Getting back to East Carolina, Curtis, um, you talk about embracing you know, the pirate theme. Uh, how about in, as far as embracing our history? I think that's something at times that we have failed to do. Uh, I will give a lot of credit to you know, Brian Meador and everyone there with ECU Video for the videos they put out back in July. 
Um, I'm sure you saw those with regards to a game day at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium and getting it back to where it needs to be. Uh, yeah. our, our history uh, when it comes to excellent quarterbacks, David Garrard, Jeff Blake, Marcus Crandall, et cetera. Uh, but um, I think uh, – I don't know if you recall this. I want to say this is back during the Chris Johnson era, I believe maybe uh, 06, 07, uh, when – you know, it was a key point in the game. Um, Pirates were seizing the momentum. I mean, you would often see a video put up on the video board of, um, you know, Jeff Blake and uh, Robert Jones with their arms around each other, you know, saying, uh, we believe Pirate Nation, do you believe, or, or you know, something of that nature. Just tying sure. some different, different uh, historical moments into present day. Uh, has there been any discussion over anything like that, uh, you know, be it from the – Obviously, the Peach Bowl era, but then there are plenty of other eras of pirate football that um, were very successful. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there. it's funny. There, there's not a lot of discussion between uh, me and the university as far as, like, what what we're going to have for future videos. Um, I, it, the way it kind of works is early in the summer, we, we have, you know, we get on some phone calls and they say, and you want to do it again? And I say, uh, sure. And then I give them kind of a framework for things I'm thinking. And then, um, yeah, I mean, the, the amazing thing about this is kind of how much control, um, I guess how much trust as a, as a pirate fan and, and, um, you know, as supporter, I think that they put in, in me and, and part of that's definitely thanks to Brian and, and his work there. And, um, so I, you know, I communicate, the basic outline of, of my ideas and thoughts. And, and, you know, we want to, we always want to kind of meet EC where it is, as far as our, our themes and our, our concepts, it's, it's not always easy to do because, you know, but like some, something I've been hearing a lot this past year, because we've got some depth on the football team is iron sharpens iron. So we're in a blacksmith shop, you know, um, there's, we're always trying to bring some elements, some layers to what we're doing. And, and we try to, you know, have some ideas that are a little, you know, deeper than just, Hey, you know, we're shooting another pirate guy. Um, but, uh, you know, I have thought a little bit about doing a video that would incorporate some historic footage uh, you know, you just have to figure out what's the best way to do that while you're also trying to do something cinematic and fun and piratey that, you know, gets people excited. Um, you know, you could always do that. Um, there's certain ways to do it. And I've got, I've got a few more ideas for, you know, what our entrance is going to be for, for the next couple of years. Uh, but after that, I'm going to run out of ideas <laughs> and then I'm just going to walk away from it. But, um, yeah, I mean, that is a thought. So at some point, I would like to incorporate that some historic pieces. You know, the question is, is what's the best way to do that while you're still trying to, you know, you have two minutes to tell a story. And you got to pick a lane and you got to make it exciting. And you got to, you know, give people what they like. And you got to make fans excited and recruits excited and all that stuff. So, right. Curtis, and, Go ahead, Dave. No, I was just going to say that maybe that when you run out of ideas that you can do the historical pieces, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> there's a couple of things floating out there that I know I want to include, but I don't know how yet. And, you know, it's like when people started talking about iron sharpens iron, you know, I've always thought, oh, that'd be cool to do a blacksmith shop because it's visually appealing. If you shoot a, a period uh, location, then it, you know, it's something that existed in pirate times. And you know what? Pirates have weapons that were made in blacksmith shops. So that's all I'll say about that. But, um, yeah, I mean, in the blacksmith shop, they, they, they might be making a specific pirate weapon. I don't know, Bubba had to step away, I guess, so it's waiting for him. But, uh, Curtis, as far as... Uh... For, have you have what's the feedback you hear from like uh are there other filmmakers that have seen your work uh, as far as the interest video do, do you guys have like i guess awards or different things because that stuff i know that we're biased and we think a lot of you're your friend and you come on the show every year but uh is that it seems like that is award-winning kind of stuff that you're doing 
Well, uh, the first year we did submit it for a Tele Award, which is uh, an award they have for kind of commercial corporate sports projects that, you know, you, you don't have Emmy, Oscar, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, so, so it's for short content. Um, and we did win a silver the first year we did it. Um, I'm confident that we'd win it every year. I just... It's one of those things I don't I don't really chase down that stuff. Uh, I wanted to do it the first time just to see what they thought and to see if if you know, you know to get that validation. Um, but I, I mean I have there's so many people in the community that have commented on that and the people who you know we've had work people worked on the on the shoot that have directed shows on CBS that have DP'd projects for Netflix and Fox and our you know, Samsung and Lowe's. And um, so it's like the crew, if you stop the crew that when we were shooting this stuff and ask them what their resume looks like, you'd be pretty surprised. You know, it's, it's, they're very talented folks that do high, very high level stuff and, and they love being a part of it. You know, we were shooting in the blacksmith shop, for example, and I felt bad because it was Saturday or Sunday night and it, it's four in the morning. And I was like, sorry, we ran over guys, you know, we we're, you know, I, I'm communicating that the whole way, but you know, you know we got to make our day and everybody's just like, dude, this is, we're shooting pirate stuff in a blacksmith shop, you know, it's, this is fun. <laughs> so, uh, but everybody, yeah. I mean, all the feedback I've gotten, you know, people have gone out of their way to say how much that they love the ECUs, the ECU things, actually the, uh, cookout I was just at, you know, you know, there were a lot, a lot of folks there and, and people were bringing it up and now it's like, well, it's, it's easy to do that work because that's where my heart is. That's where, I mean, it's a passion project and, um, you know, I do a lot of videos that I enjoy and I enjoy what we do, but you know, there's a little extra something when I get a step on set with, you know, and it's, it's for ECU and it's going to play in front, in front of the fans and it's fun. Curtis is winding the conversation down um, as we sit here uh, 12 days away from kickoff against App State at Bank of America Stadium. You know, what are you uh, what are some of the things you're most looking forward to with this 2021 Pirate football season? I'm looking forward to being at the games. <laughs> uh, we went to I, I got to go to one game last year. We went to uh, we got to go in the town center box. Um or town bank box. I don't know. I don't know what right. It's yeah. Town bank, town bank tower. Yeah. So we got to go in the tower, watch the SMU game, which the first half is some of the best football I've, I've seen as a pirate fan. So that was a great game to go to. That was the only game I went to last year. Um, so, you know, I, I just, I really believe in Mike Houston. I really believe in what they're doing right now. I, I you know, we have the, one of the youngest teams in the country, but I really feel like this thing's going to start turning around. And I feel like, I mean, I don't know what our record will be at the end of the year, but I, I, I feel like the games are going to be more fun to watch. I feel like it's going to be a lot better thing. And I told the guys, I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this, but I, I want to do the entrance video for a team with a winning record. <laughs> right, yeah. And, you know, entire nation. And, yeah. and I've talked to a lot of folks in recent days um, and it's leading into the season, and expectations are so much higher than they've been in recent years. And these folks are making comments to me like this is the most excited I've been uh, about pirate football since, you know, 2014, 2015, when, you know, Coach Ruff and uh, you know, Shane Carden had us had us contending for conference titles and, and uh, mm -hmm. 10, win, 10 plus win seasons. Right. Yeah. No, it's that's the feeling. And that's I mean, you know, you know again, you don't know what the win loss because it's a tough schedule. We're playing a lot better teams. On, a, on the regular, but um, yeah, I got to feel that we're going to be in contention for a bowl game. And I, I, I really, I'm not going to, you know, I, there are so many good pirate teams and pirate, um, you know, and just in the history, and just even since I've been, been a fan starting in 2000. And um, I just, I won't go out as the guy who made the entrance video through the worst stretch of pirate football. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to leave on a good note. So. Well, I think that you have a good chance of having a winning season uh, this year, Curtis. Uh, if not this year, certainly next year. How can yeah. before we let you go? How can people find your work? I know there are a lot of us, like myself, who are curious. Besides, the, we how much we love and appreciate. By the way, how much you 
put into the effort, the pride, the passion you put into the entrance videos. But what about the other stuff that you do? How can we find your work? Yeah, I mean, we're on Instagram. We're on Facebook, Port City Films. Um, we got a website. We, we haven't done a good job of updating it lately, but uh, we do have some fun things coming up. So follow us and uh, you'll get to see our work. And there might be a little preview com coming out to the social media soon. Um, a little short one. So we'll see uh, if you're interested in what the entrance video is going to look like and, and some pieces of it. All right. That sounds good. Cool. Thanks so much for your time. And thanks for your patience today. Is It's been a crazy day with media day. I know you've had stuff going on, so I'm glad it all worked out. It's like herding cats, right? Oh, no doubt. No, it was good joining you guys. I appreciate what you guys do and always enjoy the shows. And, and thanks for having me on and look forward to doing it again next year. Absolutely. Look, look forward. Hopefully we'll see you down in Charlotte uh, against App State here in a little over uh, a week and a half. I'll be there. All right, go Pirates and go Pirates. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. Th thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, appreciate Curtis. That was awesome, Bubba. Awesome work as always, my friend. And uh, looking forward to the entrance video. And great day having the media day. And now we were able to do the show with Curtis. Thanks, dude, for all that you do. And uh, uh, until next time, you've been listening and watching the Sports Objective. Go Pirates. Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is Udon Cheek, assistant track and field coach at East Carolina University. You are plugged into the Sports Objective Podcast. If you are a fan, you are plugged into the right place. And if you're really a fan, you will share that link. My heart is purple and gold. I'm a pirate down to my soul. And I don't back down, not at all. Find out when the cannons explode. Boom!